Good evening and welcome to the second of our nightly prayers. It's Friday, it's great that you're with us. My name is Justin, I'm one of the ministers at St George and St Paul's Church in Tiverton and I'll be leading our nightly prayers for the the next eight or eight days um, in between Ascension and Pentecost. We're joining a global movement, prayer movement called Thy Kingdom Come. Praying um, together joining millions of other people, a movement that started in 2016. But it follows a tradition much longer than that that goes back to biblical times, where the disciples and Mary were praying together when, after Jesus had ascended back to heaven, praying for the promise to be fulfilled that the Holy Spirit would be sent. And it was on that Pentecost Sunday and that promise is a promise for us too. For those that accept Jesus Christ into their lives will receive the Holy Spirit. And we pray that same prayer today. It's great that you are here. And I hope and pray that through this rhythm of nightly and morning prayers, whether you're joining for the evenings or the mornings or both, that you will feel spiritual nourishment through this time. Shall we pray? just a point that we're using a resource called Daily Prayer for Thy Kingdom Come. And you can download the app by following that symbol on your Apple Store or your Android Store. And one final thing is I always light a candle before I pray in the evening, reminding me that Jesus Christ is the light of the world. It remains for me to say, let us pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Let's just take a moment of silence to reflect and let go of the busyness of the day. Acknowledging the presence of God with us in the day and the night, with us always. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another our sins of thought, word and deed, and what we have failed to do. Forgive us, O Lord, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Before the ending of this day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Our psalm this evening from the Bible is Psalm 145. Psalm 145. I will extol you, my God and King, and bless your name for ever and ever. Every day I will bless you and praise your name for ever and ever. For great is the God and greatly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall lord your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. On the glorious splendour of your majesty and on your wondrous works I will meditate. The might of your awesome deed shall be proclaimed, and I will declare your greatness. They shall celebrate the fame of your abundant goodness, and shall sing aloud of your righteousness. For the Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all, and his compassion is over all that he has made. All your works shall give thanks to you, O Lord. 
and all your faithful shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and tell of your power to make known to all your people your mighty deeds and the glorious splendour of your kingdom. For your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures throughout all generation. For the Lord is faithful in all his words and gracious in all his deeds. The Lord upholds all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you and you give them food in due season. You open your hand, satisfying the desire of every living thing. The Lord is just in all his ways and kind in all his doings. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. He fulfills the desire of all who fear him. He also hears their cry and saves them. The Lord watches over all who love him, but the wicked he will destroy. My mouth will speak the praise of the Lord and all flesh will bless his holy name forever and ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our second reading from the Bible this evening is from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter two, beginning at verse eight. As it is, we do not yet see everything in subjection to human beings, but we do so in Jesus. We see Jesus, who for a little while was made lower than the angels, now crowned with glory and honour because of the suffering of death, so that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone. It was fitting that God, for whom and through whom all things exist, in bringing many children to glory, should make the pioneer of their salvation perfect through sufferings. For the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We continue in prayer. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. The Song of Simeon. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia, the Holy Spirit, the Advocate, Alleluia, shall teach you all things. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let us pray. Loving Father, we commit to you the day that is past. Tasks fulfilled, tasks unfulfilled. Forgotten things, our worries and our burdens. We give thanks for your provision, for your presence, for your sustaining and keeping. And we pray, Lord, for those who are sick in body, mind and spirit, for healing and wholeness. We remember our loved ones, Lord. Bless them and keep them this night, we pray. And we will lie down in rest and ask for your peace, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. O come, 
O Spirit of God, and make within us your dwelling place and home. May our darkness be dispelled by your light and our troubles calmed by your peace. May all evil be redeemed by your love, our pain transformed through the suffering of Christ and all dying glorified in his risen life. Amen. And if you'd like to join in at home, we pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As a night watch looks for the morning, so do we look to you, O Christ. May the Holy Spirit of God bless and sanctify us so that we may be consecrated in the truth. Amen. I draw our nightly prayers to a close. I invite you to just take some time of silence to pray for your five, five people in your life that they may know the love of Jesus Christ and receive him with faith. May God bless you and give you and all those whom you love his comfort and peace, his light and his joy in this world and the next. In Jesus name. Amen. Good night. God bless.